Hi, I'm Niall from Gulfstream Boat Sales. This is a Sea Ray 245 Sun Dancer powered by AmeriCruiser 5 liter MPI Bravo 3 stern drive. This is a 2006 boat but re engined in 2011 and it has 126 hours on the clock. It's incredibly low hours and it's in fantastic condition throughout. As a stock boat of ours, it's been fully prepared for sale. It has had a full engine and drive service. It's been sold complete with our in house three month warranty as well, so you can buy with complete peace of mind. This boat boasts a Great spec level, including full camper canvas covers and a tonneau cover. It's got an onboard heating system, vacuum flush toilet, compact galley, surge light. You name it, this boat has it, and it's in beautiful condition. So this Sea Ray 245 has been an Irish boat from new. See, stamped and all that sort of stuff, and it has spent its life on uh, fresh water here in Ireland. So incredible condition. None of the sort of salt water cruising issues that you find on uh, sea boats. The so, hull itself is also in fantastic condition. It's just had a fresh coat of black anti-foiling paint, international anti-foiling paint by ourselves. The hull's been compounded and polished and it's looking really, really smart indeed. Above and below the rail, the hull's in great shape. We've got this original Sea Ray badge in here. We've got the 245 Sundancer model identifier. The camper covers were all brand new, like two years ago as well. All the skin fittings are all polished stainless. They're all in great condition. The stern corner here on the port side is also immaculate. So absolutely mint down along that port side. The bow is also unmarked. Rub rail, gel coat, it's all perfect. Hull bottom looks really smart on this side. Again, freshly anti-foiled. And the hull itself is in fabulous condition down along the starboard side. Sea Ray badge again in great condition. All the way back down, the 245 Sundancer. And it's all in really nice shape all the way back here. So yeah. The exterior of the boat is excellent. Taking a look at the transom. First thing you're gonna notice is that the drive is off. So we're still in the middle of the, the, the service work. So we take, we, with, with all our stock boats now, particularly at this kind of age, we take the steering drives off, we, we pressure test them. Um, we, we're gonna replace the bellows. We change all the service items. We just leave them completely as good as we can make them because we are standing over these boats. We give a three month mechanical warranty. Um, and we don't want any hassle. We want you to have you know, several years of trouble-free use with these things. So the steering drives off and it's getting a full service. The bellows are gonna be done. The engine's had a full service as well. So that's why the drive's off, but it's a Bravo 3 counter-rotating and it's gonna be painted and, and everything before it's put back on. It's gonna be in mint condition. It's also fitted with stainless steel trim tabs as well. Looking above the, uh, the water line then, Again, rub rails in perfect condition. We've got a central ski tow and I. Because this boat has the five liter MPI, it's 260 horsepower. And with the Bravo 3 prop, it gets up on the plane in a heartbeat. So you can actually do water sports with this boat. Whilst it is a cruiser, it's definitely on the compact end of things. You know, it's 25 foot long. It's four berths downstairs, but it's, you'll, you'll see that the, the space on board is biased towards the cockpit. There's more room in the cockpit than there is in the cabins, but that's ideal because most of these boats are usually used as a day boat with the odd overnight. Um, and this one definitely uh, can still do all your water sports duties and all that sort of stuff. So really nice compromise between sport boat and cruiser. Okay, so stepping on board, you've got this nice wide swim platform so you can easily get on, on the boat from either side. Yeah. Sea Ray, everything's top quality. You know, these, these have a fantastic reputation for build quality. And as you go through the boat, it's easy to see why. Um, it's really stood the test of time, but I mean, it's only had a, only has 126 hours on the clock, so it hasn't had a lot of use, but, but it has stood up to it really well. It's all single level, single level floor throughout the cockpit, which is nice. Everybody's sitting at the same height. So we've got this uh, probably two or three person wide bench seat aft. We've got these two facing opposing seats facing the helm seat, and then a, like a double wide helm seat with this little side return on it as well. So somebody can sit there around the table if you are having picnics. Cockpit wet bar, which is fairly unusual in a little cruiser of this size, but that's nice to have. So you get fresh water there and everything in here is in absolutely immaculate condition. The upholstery is perfect. This is a removable table, so you can put, take that out whenever it's not in use and you have a lot more deck space. But you've got a heater outlet up here. So whenever the camper covers are enclosed, that will heat up this whole area. And then you have another heat, heater outlet down in the cabin. So if you're staying on board or if you're you know using the boat, early spring or late autumn, that'll really lengthen your season by, by allowing you to keep the boat nice and cozy whenever you're out on board. Taking a look at the helm seat then, twin wide seats, so two people can sit here. You've got a flip up bolster as well. So if you want to stand at the helm and flip the bolster up out of the way. The boat is everything you'd want on a coastal, you know, or an inland 
cruiser. Um, full marine electronics, smart craft system, so digital display on the engine. You've got a Garmin GPS chart plotter fish find. We've also got a VHF radio, a Raymarine, Ray 54E VHF radio, it's working fine. And we've got a remote control there for the stereo. I think I need to go downstairs and turn the stereo on downstairs, but that, that remote control is all totally working as well. Instrument wise, we've got our Speedo, four in one gauge with temperature pressure, or, um, or sorry, yeah, oil pressure, temperature, trim gauge, and fuel gauge. And then your digital tackle giving you hours, engine hours here, 126 hours in the engine. Throttle and shift lever located conveniently here. And then you've got your C-Ray builder's plate here showing capacity of 10 people plus as soon gear. as we get the drive back if the boat hasn't sold by then we'll get it on the water i, I have had it on the water whenever we were trading it in and, and i ran it and it's running perfectly up on the plane quickly it runs up to about 40 miles an hour as i said plenty of power for pulling skiers and stuff if you want to do that but equally it'll be cruise economically at like 20 miles an hour 25 miles an hour all day long moving forward then this uh, sliding cockpit door serves as the steps to get out through the windscreen so big opening section on the center of the windscreen so you can get out onto the foredeck, rubber stopper, top and bottom to hold that off the screen. The camper covers that you can see here were brand new about a year and a half or two years ago. The, the previous owner had them made locally and they're in perfect condition. We're going to put those up and take some photographs. Check out the, uh, the gallery on the website and you'll see photographs of the covers all in position. But they're in great condition. Access into the cabin then is via this sliding door, lockable as well, so you can lock your valuables in there. And it's a conventional layout down here, so it's forward V berth, um, which is dinette during the daytime. Twin cabin aft. You've got your compact galley on the port side, and enclosed toilet and shower compartment on the starboard side. The cabin is compact. The sleek lines outside also mean there's not a huge amount of headroom. Now, I, again, I'm five ten. I can stand up here. Got a wee bit of clearance above my head. But you can only really stand this one spot, you know, which is where you want to be standing at the galley. Whenever you move forward, then you just have to duck down. There is plenty of sitting headroom up here. So you'll you'll get probably comfortably you'll get like two adults and two kids around the table in here. You've still got four berths. There's filler cushions. There's a the filler cushion there. So there's a filler piece goes in here. You can make this up into a full double bed. The galley is a pretty conventional setup that you would find on any 25 foot sports cruiser so you've got a um, nice deep sink with hot and cold running water there's a calorifier uh, in the engine bay that heats the water from the engine or from shore power we've got a little single burner uh, hob here this is an alcohol or electric hob Good. microwave that works off 240 volts only shore power only and we've got a, a fridge down here which is dual voltage this is your uh, shore power panel and 12 volt panel for all the cabin equipment. So the bottom half of it is 12 volt equipment. So cabin lights, fridge, fresh water pump, stereo system, toilet system, and 12 volt receptacle. And then this is your two, your shore power panels. This is your stereo. So we turn that on. If you've got this switch on down here, you can turn it on either from the stereo unit directly or from the helm remote. And you've got a little screen curtain screening off the aft cabin. So there's a double cabin in here. So just crawl in, you've got a little bulk headlight and pretty decent headroom down in It's there. all nicely upholstered and panelled and a good sized double berth in there. And then access into the heads compartment here on the starboard side. You've got a, a vacuum flush toilet, which is pretty unusual on a boat of this size. And then you've got hot and cold running water. This tap head comes out. You can put it up here and use it as a shower. Well, nice little compact heads compartment, but it's great if you are going away for a couple of nights and you're not going to be on in a marina, um, you've got your facilities on board and uh, or, or even just for day use the fact you have that vacuum flush toilet on board is excellent for all the family so as you can tell the cabin has kind of all your all the creature comforts you would expect on a small uh, sports cruiser it is on the more compact size dimension wise down here but it's a, the, the reason for that is you've got a prioritizes cockpit space as I said you've got the sleek lines externally so it really looks the part and it's lighter as well so it does perform and behave like a sports boat so access around this Mary Cruiser 5 degree MPA is fantastic and the engine itself is in excellent condition it's starting on the button it's running a dream it's in the process of getting fully serviced so we're st we still have to put the drive back on complete the service work but this is being sold with a full 
service to include everything, you know, oil filters, fuel filters, engine oil, spark plugs, full grease and inspection, bellows, stern dry, the, the whole the whole nine yards. So it uh, and we're also gonna stand over this with our in-house three month warranty for the start on the date of launch in 2024. So you can buy it with complete peace of mind. I thought I'd take the opportunity here to put up the camper covers and show you on the video as well as the photographs. So you'll see photographs of the boat from the outside with all the camper covers on, but just giving you a quick look around from the inside as well. They're basically like brand new. If you're interested in the Sea Ray 245 Sundancer and you'd like to find out more about it, then please sign up for VIP access on our website at gulfstreamboatsales.com. All you have to do is pop your name an email address into the box below this video on our site at gulfstreamboatsales.com and you can watch the full length video tour of the Sea Ray 245 Sundancer. It'll be around about 30 or 40 minutes long. It'll go through all the features on the boat. We'll hit every switch. We'll show you in all the storage compartments, give you a really good look around the engine bay as well and just hopefully help you to figure out, you know, you can see what condition the boat's in and hopefully help you to figure out whether it might be the right boat for you. So that's sign up for VIP access at gulfstreamboatsales.com. This boat has lots going for it. It would make an excellent step up from a smaller day boat, whether that's a bow rider or a cuddy cabin, or if you're looking for your first boat and you want to try out the cruising lifestyle, but not sacrifice the performance aspects of a smaller boat, you'll still be able to do water sports and stuff like that, then this Sea Ray 245 could be the ticket. Condition is second to none, only 126 hours on the clock, and in beautiful condition for sale with our in-house three month warranty. So yeah, check out the full length tour at gulfstreamboatsales.com and thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video.